I'm Dr. David Thomas. I'm a practicing psychotherapist with the Whitford Thomas Group in Tampa, Florida to discuss restless leg syndrome and anxiety. First, restless leg syndrome is a neurological disorder, oftentimes experienced more than not in the legs, but any of the extremities you can experience this disorder or this uh, syndrome. And it's, uh, to describe the restless leg syndrome is to uh, kind of imagine, if you will, a lot of numbing, discomfort, pain. Some people even uh, liken it and describe it as bugs inside the, underneath the skin. And naturally, if you have those type of sensations occurring, especially in your legs, your tendency is to want to kind of get up and, and move around because when reckless, restless leg syndrome is experienced the most is when you lie down or you sit down and you rest the legs or the limbs. So at that, at that, at that time, uh, there's a tendency to want to shake the legs, walk around to minimize the symptoms. Obviously, if you have something that's so overt, such as restless leg syndrome, you begin to get over-focused on it, begin to get uptight about it, begin to worry, concern yourself, which are the, the kind of the beginning, the kind of precursors for anxiety. Interestingly, anxiety at that point is all driven by thought, which most anxiety is, but certainly um, at that point, after you experience restless leg syndrome, the tendency to get kind of uptight or worry or concern yourself about the uh, the, the syndrome is, is, is pretty significant. What do you do about it? Uh, certainly there's uh, medications that can treat rex restless leg syndrome, but from the thinking component so you don't create an anxiety about having the syndrome, you certainly want to seek out some type of uh, therapies, preferably with a cognitive behavior therapist who really focuses greatly on thought, changing feelings and behaviors. Hopefully this information that I provided to you have been helpful regarding res restless leg syndrome. From Tampa, Florida, I'm Dr. David Thomas.